Yes friends, welcome to all of you, new. We are together again in a video friends in this lesson we will make a car game in 10 minutes. Mobile Android game in simple way. We will do it guys before we start please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. A lot in this lesson simply a car game. We will make a joystick hero will put it and control the car with this joystick will. Now friends come to the Unity Asset Store and find a way. We will find the model. I suggest this right a Kajamid road. Look. There will be one free road there. I like this model very much. And I will use this model in my project. Now I select the model and download it. And then import it into Unity. First of all, we add our road model to the Unity scene. I think I liked this model a lot. Now our stage is ready and our road model looks good. And now it's time to add a car model to our game. We will need to come to the Unity store and find a car model in the search section. There are car models that you can find for free in the search section. Let's take a look at the house. Finally, I found a nice car model and I can use this model in my project. After examining the car model a little, I download it and import it as Unity because I like this model very much. Friends, we select our car model in the project section and transfer it to the Unity stage. After examining the car a little, I select the wheels and change their names. I select all the wheels of the car and move them to the body part of the car. And now in the inspector section, we will add a rigid body to the body of the car and add a well collider component to all wheels. Then we adjust the well collider to fit the wheels. And we apply this process to all wheels. Thanks to the wheel collider feature, it will allow the car to balance and move forward and backward. Adjust the wheel collider carefully to the wheels. This will ensure better balancing. Finally, we have adjusted our wheel collider wheels regularly and now we will apply the movement operations of the car by creating a new code in the project section. After creating a new code, we open our arms and move on to the coding process. We come to the class section and introduce the wheel collider code. We added to the car by coming to the void update function. We apply a forward force starting from the rear wheels of the wheel collider car. Before doing this, we will set a speed at a float value at the top. Then, to activate this force, we will use the Gataxis code to control it from the keyboard keys. So I write vertical as the forward key. And I add another force inside this rear left wheel. Let's all be tested to see if it works together. You need to add a camera to the car before testing. I'm starting the game now and seeing how it works. And what kind of reactions we get while the car literally flew. Of course, I deposit the code in the car and transfer the rear wheels to the code section. Now I test again after transferring the wheels. Yes, as you can see, the car started to move forward. And now I introduce the front wheels in the code section. Because I need to apply force to the front wheels to turn the car left and right. And for this, I am writing the front wheel strangle code which will make it go right and left. And for this, I am writing the keyboard keys, namely the Gataxis horizontal code. And I do the same on the left side. Now we save the code and introduce it to the wheeled code and test the game. I think we forgot something. I set the speed for the wheels to turn, look. Our car has already started to turn successfully and now we will try it with the mobile keys. We need to go to the Unity store and find a joystick button for mobile from there. And from here you need to select and download the joystick one. Then we will import it into Unity and check it for mobile.
and now we create a canvas in the hierarchy section and make a small adjustment for the screen width setting in the canvas scalar section. We select use scale mod scale with screen size to prevent the joystick key from sliding on the screen. And then we create an image for the joystick in the canvas UI section. After adjusting the size that will be needed to keep this joystick outside, we create a joystick inside the button. You need to center it like this. and we add our joystick code here, we will have an option here. We transfer the first joystick background we created and transfer the joystick button. We created to the handle option and thus we have now obtained a joystick that can move. Place it in a nice place and then we will introduce this joystick. By opening the code we created for the car, we introduce the joystick code we created at the top of the code by typing public. Then we will cancel the Gataxis keyboard keys we used before and connect them to the joystick keys. We create it. I recognize the joystick button we created in the joystick code. And I start the game to test it. And so now you can control the car with joystick, it's very easy. Yes friends, this video ends like this. If you want more, tell us in the comments.